Hey guys, and welcome back to Shadow Empire with me, Time and Tactics. I'm looking at the profile screen for our nation because we got that feat, the new feat of curiosity. And it says here, cultural adjustment bonus of 40%. What that actually means is if we go back to the map and look at our zone of Hexapeak, we have a option here, the cultural adaptation score. And you can see the information right here. We're at 100 now, that's the max. and. Basically, it's going to come into play if we get another zone where there is a different type of culture. Our culture is apparently Neon Wastian, and that culture, we are in perfectly in tune with it. So we're at 100 right now. So it doesn't really matter yet. Maybe later on it will. I think last time we left off, we were ready to go to the next turn. So let's go ahead and do that. Round 22, we killed 400 infantry. Alec, our director of model design council, says there's a new development of a howitzer. Well, that's going to be interesting. That's for artillery, right? The organization generated four new stratagems. Intel support, Mission Impossible, Governor Convention, and Export Tariff increase. We also gained extra or well, three new stratagems. Shadow Diplomat, Zoo Project, and Plea of Friendship. Okay, now, looking at the map, I want to check out my units here. Oh, yeah, that's right. We did have an action or an attack, right? Let's look at the history here. So, we'll see. We have 12 steps to go through. Still going. They are still moving around here. Okay. And then for us, they attack down here. That's not a good move on their part. I think we had quite a few units there. And that's all they did. They have very little strength left, it feels like. Well... Maybe a uh, 1400, right? 1400 left. So looking at our units here, we can see that we have two of them here. Well, no, three of them. And they're still in decent shape. One took damage. This one, this militia, that's fine. This is not a militia unit. That is our regular unit, an infantry unit. And that's the one that is slightly better than everybody else. If you look at the line troops too, we have 79 in defense. That was a good deal that they attacked that one. Since we have a new turn, let's see if we can figure out the logistics here. If I go to the initial points, what do we have at the beginning of the round here? Well, it's kind of hard to see, but it looks like we're in good shape here. We can look at the current points after we gave them supplies. It looks like we're in good shape here as well, mostly, right? If we go look at the bottlenecks, everything here seems to be good. If I press 1, we can see we did arrive with quite a bit of supply here. So I'm feeling pretty good about that. And for next turn, here, we should be in okay shape. Remember, I put in a block here, so we're only sending here as much as we need. Everything else goes off in the right direction. I think that's fine. We have that truck station over here, right? And we can select that here. There's our truck station. And that's our transport hub. If we look at the bottlenecks, by the way, you can see here, we have a little bit of yellow. But that's not too bad. The percentage just indicates how much of our supply that we have left here after we sent through the required supplies. That's still pretty good, right? Okay, let's go ahead and uh, surround this unit. Maybe we'll attack the way it is. Do we need to move them any further? Probably not. Let's go ahead and see what we can do. M for move. If I go ahead and move them all in, maybe we'll move this one and this one. You need somebody from every direction. That's the best. So 10 to one. 18 left. Well, I think 14 maybe, right? They get that concentric, no, the caliber modifier because we have the buggy in there. So that works out in our favor. And we get 150% concentric attack because we have uh, all of the hexes covered except this one. That's still okay, I think. 10 would be fine. If we were to move in this unit, though, they can get experience. We should do that, actually. So now we get 15 to 1. We can leave these off. This unit here is uh, one of our bigger units. This one can move ahead, actually. Yeah, let's do that, actually. Let's leave it like that, and let's go ahead and attack. And I think it's going to work out pretty well here. They are at, what, entrenchment 50 right now. Morale 51. We have better morale there. Yes, sir. We're going in. And we lost one unit here. That's a militia unit. I don't care so much about that. We can go ahead and zoom out so we get a better idea. This unit is our unit here with a one, and this unit here. 
So we want them to gain experience. Yeah, they're all retreating now. Mission successful. There, they're gone. Now, they were allowed to retreat because we did not surround them, so that is a disadvantage, I guess. Maybe I should have surrounded them, then I could have taken them out. Now, they still have some units left there. Okay, I think we're going to move in. This is infantry. That's fine. Let them move in to take control of that area. I'm going to move down with our motorized unit, though. Let's move down here. Move up with our machine gun unit there. And we have, I think, a few points that we can spend. Industrial points. Yeah, the points. 192 we could spend on roads. But before we do that, I know I jumped the gun a little bit here. Let's look at the reports. Empire dashboard. We're gaining 231 BPs every turn. And I think right now we have a foreign affairs council there. There is going to be a, a decision waiting for us to set up a new, a new council there. But let's look at this first. Urgent issues. Nothing really, right? Bad supply, five units. Yeah, I know. The road would help there. We couldn't send replacement to a unit. Only 40% sent. Going down to the models, we can see we have a howitzer. That's the one we decided to design. So we have this one set up now. I think it was just pretty much a basic one. 25 millimeter howitzer gun. It will do 30 damage against soft targets and 10 against hard. But it can be a, it can engage the enemy, as it says right here, in range fire. Soften them up. I think it will reduce their readiness. Also entrenchment. Be good to get them going now. If we were to go back, let's leave the reports. We'll go into the list of formations. If we go to the race formation screen and select independent and then the smallest unit battalion, we can see here to get a plain old artillery battalion. You can see the two pips there, maybe. Yeah, it's kind of hard to see. We have to spend 500 recruits, 70 industrial points, 95 metal and two political points. We can also get one that's motorized, and I'm tempted to get that, because that means we're going to be a lot faster. Otherwise, we're going to be kind of stuck in a spot. Either way, they can help out by performing range combat before we attack an enemy, and I think the readiness and entrenchment value will go down when we do it. Uh, use a unit like this. So 120 there, a few more, quite a few more industrial points. More metal, doesn't really matter. It's only the industrial points that matter, I think. We have 192 right now. Let's look and see if we want to do anything with the road. That's what I'm more concerned about maybe right now. Because we want to keep these in supply. Now, what do we say up here? We know we have a refugee camp here. And I'm tempted to put maybe a city up here somewhere. If we put it 12 hexes away, we minimize our administrative strain. 12 hexes away from another city. We could have one down here. And maybe one up. That's more than 12, isn't it? That's one, two, three. We're just going to guess here. Four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. But that's still okay, I think, right? If we're going to do that, let's maybe connect up to that city. Do we need to connect this one? We don't. There's no purpose in doing that. And actually, do we need to get the road just yet i don't think so we're not going to be building immediately whereas we may want to go this way and build up well take out this unit and then build up this area right here with a recycling center maybe we'll do that first we'll continue with the road here let's see what we can get we'll pick a dirt road what do we say that's 80 industrial points that's very expensive you can look at down there 80 points out of 192 that means we're not going to have access. We're not going to be able to do the artillery unit if I do that. Hmm. Maybe I won't do a road just yet. Although we need to get this here. Going through that forest is a problem. Well, I'm getting off into the weeds here. Let's go back to the reports. What we need to do. Now that we know we have the howitzer. That's the one we're going to be thinking about. Cash flow. How are we doing on that? 99 and 82. It fluctuates every turn. But we have 119 on hand in credits so that's good victory we're still in last place here yeah we're not expanding maybe as much as they are they're starting to expand quite a bit now and we have two spies one in landing and one in zigo or seago that's good because we have that demand let's look at that demand elite equality party demands the number of hexes should reach 750 we have 720 
Well, that's pretty good. We should be in good shape. In fact, if we go down here, this is Seago here. Yeah, that's Seago. So we can see here we have... Well, there's really nothing here, is there? That prospecting push card, we may want to do that, actually. That's the overview reports. Let's go to the letterbox and take a look now. So the Model Design Council developed a new model. That's the howitzer. We got new stratagems here. The Foreign Affairs Council is still without a director. Well, that's just now. We need to appoint somebody. And for the other ones, well, we can look at them, but I don't think there's anything that interesting, right? Barracks, we're working on barracks. We know that. Model. New artillery model was done this turn. And we might go ahead then and develop another model. We're going to get a, an information or a, a decision to make about that, I'm sure of it. Zones, anything specific here? Nothing in there. I think everything is fine. I think that's good. Okay, now let's go to the decisions and take a look. What do we have? Organizational related decisions. Managers want own mess. The project leaders at Economic Council are unhappy that they have to take their lunch in the same mess hall as the common bureaucrats. They want to be among peers. The looks of the common worker robs them of their appetite. We can give them the best table in the current mess hall. Enforcement goes down one, heart goes down two, and people don't tend to like it. He's at 98 though. He's at 98, hit 69. I may go for this one, give him the best table in the mess hall. Order acknowledged. We lost a little bit, but not too bad. Mindy went up too. Foreign Affairs Council needs a new leader. We don't have anything. I can say post postpone or I can get one. Let's go look at our cards and do that immediately. So under nation, I found these two here. A mercenary, but I don't think that's going to be very helpful for this council position, right? That's going to be something of the military. Or we can get a junior. We have one. Seven political points. No difficulty. So that's fine. We have 146. Don't think I have anything else. Nope, I don't. Let's go ahead and play that junior then. Okay, I'm not super hopeful what we got there. Tank flew a fort. But he's level 3. I'm going to go ahead and put him in right now. Even if he doesn't have really any skills at all right now. Let's do that. Mind 2. So now that we go back to the Foreign Affairs Council, we see that we have the option to appoint him. Let's do that. 30 in suitability rating. 84 right now. And we can actually look at that. He should be okay. I didn't even take a look at that. He's 18. So, job prestige is 13, but it will go up as we select this here. Roger that. He's taken over. Great. Relation improved by 16 points. He should be about 100 now. Yeah, he's 100. And now we need to have task priorities. Major diplomacy, current priority 50%. Minor diplomacy, 50. So, what these two relate to is our interaction with major regimes and minor regimes. Do we care? Well, we know of two minors and one major. Let's leave it at 50-50. Roger that. And now, since we got our howitzer, do we want to go ahead and give another design order? On the Model Design Council view, we can see here we have current task priorities, 70% to design a model. Discover is 30. And Discover relates to the type. Right now, if we say Discover, it's going to be one of these three. Bazooka, Mechanized Artillery, Motorbike Infantry. To know if it's worthwhile to go down the discoverer route or to design a new model, we need to also look at our current models. What do we have? If you select the design tab and select all, we can see here field testing has been improved. Line troops 2 is at 22%. We could build off of them if we wanted to. This number here, base design, I don't think that will ever go down as long as you continue the current model and we will continue this one. 105 and 104 is right at where we should be, if I remember correctly, based on these two numbers. So it's not bad, not fantastic, but I don't think I'm going to spend any time doing that just yet. AMG has 23, but I think I'll leave him for now. Maybe what we'll do is we'll go back out and tell him to organize it just a little bit differently. Let's call him up. Aye, aye, sir. Now, we have Discovery at 30, we have Design at 70. Let's set that down to Discover 100 and Design at 0. Aye, aye, sir. He doesn't mind. It costs us 2 points, it doesn't really matter. So, designing a new model, let's not worry too much about that. I mean, I could go for something like a light tank. The reason I'm not focused on that is because of the fact that we have 
bad terrain for any of these here, APC, buggy and light tank. Although, thinking about it now, remember that caliber modifier? That one is impacted by us having something like a tank. Maybe it would be good. You know what? I changed my mind. We'll talk to him again. And let's go back. We'll put him down to 50-50 now. Let's do 50-50. So we wasted two political points, that's fine. The APC, Armored Personnel Carrier. That's interesting, If we, I guess we could transport our units. If we have a road, it's gonna be pretty quick anyway. And same thing goes for the light tank. I think I'll go for a light tank, let's have one anyway. So we have something out there. So what do we want, what kind of gun? 25 millimeter, 40 or 60. It's gonna cost us more, firepower is 200. Let's double here and 50% more there cost more ammo as well so I think we'll go for a small one initially what kind of armor do we want minimal five millimeter steel plating 25 millimeter steel plating or 50 armor strength goes up 50 200 and 400 I'm gonna go for a little bit more armor than nothing right five millimeter seems low and what kind of engine I guess that's gonna impact how much we can move right light diesel engine 200 medium 300 it's going to really add up here that's 50 percent more ip to get the medium diesel engine weight goes up more fuel as well now we have quite a bit of fuel maybe we'll go do we go for a medium do we need that maybe the light is enough we'll go for light aye, aye, sir. i don't know we'll see what happens with that roger that okay those are the decisions we didn't, don't need anything else Okay, that looks pretty good. If we want to know what we're working on, we can go down to model design, 50%, both of them. A new artillery model, we're not going to see that, I guess, yet. The, oh, there it is. Light tank is what we're working on right now. What about the economic council? Barracks, we're working on that there. And that's really all I want to look at there. Now, let's go back into our cards. Under zones, we have a prospecting push we could play. It takes 41 political points. Economic stratagem must play it, uh, be played in a friendly zone. We have that difficulty, uh, what, 75? We're going to be able to make it. Very, very likely we'll make it and we'll find something. If we do that, can we take advantage of it right away? Pretty much, I would think we could. Except for the fact that don't we want to build a new formation? Raise a new formation. I think I want to have probably something like this here. That's 120, no, 120, yeah, 120 industrial points for an independent motorized artillery battalion. Only a single unit. But that would be tempting. I want it motorized for sure. Let's take that. So we're going to go ahead and create that. 50 howitzers and 50 haulers. They relate directly to those models that we have. By the way, how good is our hauler that we have out there already designed? If you go to the management screen and to models, hauler is here. Not great. 85 is the midpoint here. That's not a fantastic number. Engine power is 200. If we select it, what kind of modifier do we get? Move modifier 15 because it is pretty good at going far. So that is decent. Yeah, we'll take that. Let's go back to the formation. Now, if we select that again, we'll select the one that's motorized. And that's going to cost us what? 1,000 recruits, 120 out of our 192 industrial points. 20 fuel, 2 political power, 125 metal. We have plenty of that as well. Food, 20 out of 751. And then ammunition, 45. We can always create more ammunition. Let's go ahead and create that. There. So now that's going to be taken care of. And I forgot to actually select the hex. We created it here. That's actually not a bad spot. I was fortunate to do that. The road was selected, so we could ship all of the logistics that was required there. And if you do too much, you're going to see it reflected. I don't know if we're going to see it here, but used we used some here to send it across. Okay, so now we have that unit. It's sitting here, 50 haulers and 50 howitzers. And we can see them here, 60 to defend. We're not going to use them to defend. We're going to be attacking, but that's fine. Let's start to get some of that experience. What do we have? We have readiness of 50. We can't probably move then, right? No, we can't move. It takes too much. But we're going to move him up soon enough, right? And we'll see him on the order of battle here. He will sit, be sitting here as an independent, which is not the best. You might as well have an OHQ with a commander providing benefits, but we don't have that right now. If you look at our resources now, we see we're down to 72. 
So, since we got one, and one is really all I need for the moment, I mean, I could set one up maybe somewhere down here, or we could start building a road going south. That might not be a bad idea. The other way, the other thing we could do would be to see if we need to get another building. Right now, it was mentioned before, a couple of turns ago, that we are not gaining food, right? We're actually losing food. If you look at Hexapeak items, house food, 354. Stocks 210, but we are actually using it up here, as we can see. We're sending to units 124 and consumed by colonists and recruits 160. That's 280 or something like that. If we go back to the city and select the construction menu, let's take a look at that. These are all, no, these are already built, either by us or by the private industry. We can't do any of those. We can take control over the private, but that's going to cost a lot of money. Mining, we can't do anything. No deposits here. Industry, we could upgrade our current industry to gain more industrial points. I don't think I need it right now. Government, well, government is interesting, right? Because get more, we can get more BPs. You always want more BPs, I think. That's an upgrade, though. It's not that expensive, right? But it takes four rounds to do, so it is kind of expensive. We can also get university, hospital, and rad treatment center. We can't upgrade this one. Civilization level has to be at least level two. Logistics, rail station. Wait a minute, where are we at? We're at Hexapeak. Now, that makes me think of what I said before about setting up new zones. We could put one here. If I were to build a building here, what would that be? I like to have it by the coast so we can get a port. If you look at the agricultural facility, which we can use here, it takes one round, 5,000 workers, one machine, 100 metal, and 50 industrial points. That's not much, and we get 200 food, and it's on the road. I think I'll do it. Let's start the construction of that here. Roger that. Don't think you can go wrong to get one of those. Now we're down to 72 in industrial points. If you look at the assets here, select a single hex under construction. Yep, we haven't paid anything yet. We're going to be paying that next turn. And I think we said we can't afford to build a road north. Let's double check that by pressing R, dirt road. It's going to cost us 80. We have 72. Yep, that's true. Can't do it. Well, in that case, let's move up here. But maybe we'll wait to attack until we get the artillery within range. Let's see if we can use that effectively. We're going to see if we can hold this hex here. There, we'll keep him there. Let's go ahead and go to the next turn. Round 23. No losses, no kills. We have a new trade house arrived to discuss with us. I don't think I have money, but maybe. We discovered a new model. Oh, a bazooka. Which would be helpful against enemy tanks, I would think. We got a recon contract, private investment, unification, and a recruit mercenary. I do want to get... I do want to get another OHQ, or one OHQ, anyway. And we can increase our income tax. We might want to do that. Now, let's look and see what happened over here. Did we get our building here? We could not pay construction costs because I forgot to buy or to get a machine. Now, we have 75 left in money here. Let's go ahead and use our workshop and build one machine. There, so it's going to be next turn, unfortunately. Let's start by looking at our reports. Empire Dashboard is looking pretty good. I like the BP stuff we have. Urgent Issues, 44 negative cash flow, 44 negative. On the nation stratagem side of things, we can increase the income tax with 10%. 1D 100 plus 42. Let's execute that. Affirmative. Failure. I really tried, but did not manage to sort out the paperwork. Roll 52. Well, that's unfortunate, and I don't know what's going to happen next turn, but let's take a look at our decisions. MTH is transporting marauders to Hexapeak. Hestia Waters is transporting modern-day Vikings and trying to embark them on Hexapeak beaches. Well, what's going to happen? Do not attack the MTH ships. This would be seen as a big favor by the MTH. Well, yeah, it'd be a big favor, but you can't do that. Or attack those ships right now. Government goes up by five. Yeah, we have to do it. We can't have them land on our shores. Roger that. We managed to scare away Hestia Waters Maritime Trade House ships. Okay, that's good, but what's going to happen? Hmm. The Saga Ocean Maritime Trading House has visited us. They want to talk about, uh, well, what we can do for 200 credits. Eh, maybe uh, later. We'll go. Roger that. 
that. Okay, that's all we had. So money's going to be the problem. Now, I do have the option of trading at all times. How much does food get us? We're going to have that factory, that agricultural location, 0.16. That's nothing. We will also have a lot of fuel, 0.9, which, by the way, how's the fuel looking? That would be here in Roseworth. If you select assets, we can go look at that. 610. Produce 610 fuel. So we have 2,000. 238. If I were to trade and sell fuel, we can sell up to 111. We gain 99. I'd say we do that. Affirmative. Okay, that gave us some money. We can always do that. So I feel pretty good about that. And if we add in the food we're going to get here, I think we might be okay. Now, I am worried about the fact that I'm going to be sending in units here. What do we have? One motorized unit here. What else? Another motorized unit. There are two militia units here. We may need to want to, we may want to send up more units here so we can take care of this area. If I have all the units up here, it's not great. Can we get another formation? Maybe another artillery unit here. If we just select one that is purely defensive in nature, stays put in the city, that might be an option, but it's going to be slow to move. We'll take it. So there it is. It's going to wait here. I think I'm fine with that. R again, dirt road will go here. That's 80. We'll do it. So next turn, we're going to get more supplies sent this way. All right, that's fine. How far can you go? You can go all the way up here. We'll do that. And I don't think I can attack with you just yet. You are down to 65 in readiness. This one is motorized. I'm going to send it down here. And then up here, let's see. This The fact that we have a spot here now... Well, wait a minute. We may not be able to take advantage of it, the supply here, because we are too far away from this transport hub. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. What we should do here, probably, is build another transport hub right here in this zone. That would be a good idea, I think. So we may get a reduced supply there. You can always go a little bit more than your max length, but, uh, you know, the action points that you have... But not everything can be sent up. But I think I'll take a chance. We'll move uh, the machine gun unit north. What do we have here? Hmm, two. Okay, I'll move these up here to take that spot. And then our our infantry unit moves up here. So start surrounding him there. Be red there. Okay, that's fine. This is a motorized one again. Do we want to leave it there? I think I'll leave it there. We'll bring this one down. By having them on the road means we can be more flexible and help out if they were to land again on the east coast. They will move up there. I could attack now. 1 to 1 odds. It's not too bad. 2.8, but I'm not going to do it. We'll wait one more turn. So now we know that Hestia Waters is going to be potentially sending something down here. That would not be helpful. We have our Galactic Republic unit here defending. Okay, we'll leave them there. What else do we have going on? 25% discovery. And for the discovery, if I go to the tech side of things, sealed roads are right here. I want to find them here. I want to discover them, and that makes it much quicker to go. We can reach further with our action points, so that would be helpful. But anyway, guys, that will have to do it for this time. I'll come back and we'll play more of Shadow Empire with Oceania. I guess.